All right, for you LT1 owners out there, this is a 2014 C7 Corvette behind me. One of our most popular packages for these setups. I call it like the Z06 platform or the Z06 beater package for you. We add, it's called our 650 supercharged package. So those of you guys out there that have a naturally aspirated C7 that want more horsepower, uh, that don't want to spend the money on a Z06 but want the horsepower of a Z06, this is the package that we do. So it is a centrifugal supercharger, uh, roughly eight pounds of boost, as well as long tube headers with high flow cats, obviously new plugs, new wires, and a breather. This setup right here pushes right around 550 rear wheel horsepower, whereas a stock C7 Z06 LT4 on our dyno usually averages around 530 rear wheel horsepower. But a car like this idles and drives like a stock vehicle until you step on the throttle, you get the extra horsepower and the seat of the pants feel as RPM climbs. It is a, I call it perfect daily driver package or a car a driver that you're gonna drive a lot or if uh, your wife wants to drive or someone else wants to drive it, there's no issues with it, super comfortable to drive and you get the cool supercharger sounds when you want it and then uh, the nice smooth idle with no camshaft or anything like that. So to me, just wanna share with you guys, we build a lot of these, we don't post a lot of the videos of them but you LT1 guys out there, whether it's a Camaro SS or a C7 Corvette, send it our way, give us a call. We get you taken care of with something like this for not a million dollars, and it's a cool car to have. What was that, Jason? Like, subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe and all the good stuff below. Thank you. just super smooth like I said this car is like a stock car yes we have the headers on it so it is loud um, but with the stock mufflers on it with the dual mode you can close them and again you won't even know this car is modified just a little bit of a uh, supercharger sound that you hear and really that's it like this car on the highway the exhaust closed super quiet super quiet it really is like a stock car until you give it gas How does it, how's, how's Anthony do it? Anthony, come on, how do I talk like you? Hi, Give me guys. Ha, ha, hi guys, and I'll see you down the road. <laughs> <laughs>just showed up um, 2018 I just got done test driving it which you'll see and uh, I'm about to show them the car and then we'll go for a test drive cool man Come oh on. I'm excited Come about on. doing that so did they give you horsepower numbers already yeah uh, Justin, uh, Justin sent me some uh, so right. baseline I think around right. 380 yeah. we finished around 530 is about 104 150 right. horsepower gain yeah which is nice. average so literally supercharger system right air to intercooler up front breather new plugs new wires Still factory manifolds, factory cats. Right. This thing literally idles and drives like a stock car until you put your foot in it. Wait, oh. Yeah. Wait till you hear this thing. So I got sleep. Yes. That's what so it is. this pulley runs off the crankshaft, and to spin it faster, you go smaller with the supercharger pulley, or we go larger with the crankshaft. So your next step would be headers and a cam. And when we do the cam, if you want to do the cam, that's when we change the front balancer, and we go with a larger balancer. 
ton of this stuff. The, the smaller you go on the supercharger pulley, the less belt wrap you have, and you can slip the belt. So I try to keep the supercharger pulley as large as possible and go larger on the diameter pulley. For what you have right now, you can beat the crap out of it and you're never gonna slip this side up. You're good. I just got done driving it. First gear spins its ass off, second gear, yeah. third gear you're good. You did that. On those oh, tires. If you want it to hook, like from a dig, put some Toyos on it. Wanna go for a ride? Yes, I do. Go, get it. Oh yeah, we'll do just a quick little pull. When that camera I'll goes show off. You. Okay. So manual yeah, mode, and now I'm putting it. Right. I'm gonna do second. Gonna go and once you have traction control on. Traction. Centrifugal blower, as RPM climbs, boost climbs. Right. So right. the way, again, if you're going to race him, let's say at 50, right. I want you to downshift it. I want you to be above 3,000 RPMs, if not 3,500. Right. That way, when you hit it, like right now in fourth gear. So it's main torque, it likes to develop torque yeah, around 3,500 and up. It'll start making okay. boost. Like right here, if we stab it, at least you got something. Oh, yeah. If you're at like 2,000, it's gonna it's take it a build. long time to go. Yeah. So it spools up kind of like a diesel turbo does. Similar. It's kind of slow to come on, but once yes. it gets there, it's, yep. Yep. it's just as RPM climbs, okay. right. more and more boost. I think. Can I help you with something? I just wanted uh, to let everybody know that uh, Dan here, his uh, second favorite music genre is mumble rap. Mumble rap? I don't listen to rap. What's your favorite band? Mm. Mm. Van Sevenfold? Sevenfold? What about Five Finger Death Punch? Yeah, they're pretty good. What about Marilyn Manson? Oh yeah, Marilyn Manson. Can't forget him. He's evil. You like that? Yeah. You like, uh... Britney Spears? No. Adele? No. Oh yeah, that song, Hello. Oh. Hello, it's me. <laughs> it's That's me. a good song. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a like if you liked it so far. And please turn on bell notifications for future content as we have cool stuff in the pipeline that you're gonna wanna see. And as always, please comment below.